This is the Herodium and uh, you're looking over the area of Bethlehem. This is the only fortress that was named after Herod. Uh, he rebuilt six and built one from uh, scratch. And, it, and the only one that, uh, uh, or the, the one that he was buried in. Now for years, uh, archaeologists have been trying to find the tomb of, of Herod. And we're talking about Herod the Great. You're talking about someone you read about in the Bible. He was the one who ordered the kids of Bethlehem uh, killed when Jesus was born just to make sure that he gets to the king. They found a sarcophagus, a couple of sarcophagi. Some of you might have seen this on National uh, Geographic. There was a show about this. They found two elaborate sarcophagi which are at the Israel Museum. But you're looking at the general area of the tomb. And, and again, for years they did a lot of research. They did a lot of archaeology. They discovered the lower Herodium. Uh, and, and that sort of, sort of uh, reflects the, the sort of uh, lavish life, the, uh, uh, you know, the luxury that Herod lived in with a pool and, and uh, uh, an island in the middle of the pool. Uh, but recently they discovered certain rooms, they discovered the tomb itself, and they, they discovered a small theater that he had on the site. Okay, now what we are doing now is going under through the water system which uh, was built by Herod to collect one of rainwater and use it for the purpose of you know, the residents of this place. Uh, and later on was turned into a zealot or the uh, 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 rebels against Rome sort of uh, weapon storage. And then eventually in the Bar Kokhba revolt, the second century, 135 against the Romans, it was turned into the escape route of these rebels.